Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Time to talk some more topics now. First up, Amy McGrath's campaign is playing on recurring Internet memes of Mitch McConnell as a turtle in her latest ad. Senator, Senator, is it true these Kentucky coal miners with black lung disease traveled 10 hours on a bus to see you and you only gave them one minute? Well, I should feel lucky to see me. And reports of you ignoring constituents. Well, I'm busy. McConnell's campaign says this is the second time McGrath has brought up the miners' trip to Washington and that two of them had sent her a cease and desist to be pulled from the previous ad because, in part, they thought the meeting was actually productive. Uh, and, Keith, I, I got to tell I I do get a chuckle out of this ad. Um, but I would still like to see some more substance from Amy herself. Uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of talked earlier about how we all just want to be looked at the same way and be loved. And I don't know, this one just seems kind of dirty politics to me with that whole turtle thing. It does give you a chuckle, but it's like, I mean, can't you come around a different way than trying to make fun of the way a guy looks or, yeah. you know, uh, it, it just seems like it could be done differently. Probably so. All right. In the wake of this past weekend's deadly shooting at the Fayette Mall, the owner of the location is making changes to the youth escort policy. The mall is now requiring anybody under 18 to be accompanied by a parent or guardian during all hours of operation on Friday, Saturday and Sunday or at any other time. The policy is in effect. Security will be on hand to monitor visitors. Keith, uh, I'm I'm for this. And I, I promise you, the, the kids that are under 18 at the mall by themselves are not spending a ton of money there. They're not actually shopping. They're just hanging out. I just hope they're able to you know, do this without any issues. You know, uh, you know they're going to be asking some kids you know, how old they are, identification, that kind of thing. And hopefully it doesn't come into to, to more issues. I hope not. I hope not. But I like the idea. All right. It seems the NCAA is paring down the possible plans for the start of college basketball. After meetings this week, the top two options for the return of hoops are November 25th and December 4th. Meanwhile, fall sports other than football will take place this year in the Southeastern Conference. The SEC has announced new start dates and formats for cross country, women's soccer and volleyball, as well as fall golf and tennis. Uh, Keith, I'm just glad to see that there is a plan in place, although I don't know the huge difference uh, one week is going to make. But <laughs> All I know is that I realize we're in a pandemic, and so I hope for safety for everyone's sake. But if we don't have basketball until late November, early December, please let football continue on and, <laughs> and carry on all those games. I, otherwise, it's going to be a long fall till we get to basketball. Listen, we need the NCAA tournament. That's, that's what I need. I need yes, a March Madness. For all sure. Right. Kentucky football yes. has taken aim at four-star players across three states for future recruiting classes. Among athletes receiving offers from UK, defensive end Daniel Lyons and running back Kentrell Marks for 2022, and outside linebacker Malik Bryant for 2023. The Cats do not currently have a commitment beyond the 2021 class. Uh, and Keith, uh, that could change because Jagger Burton is going to be announcing his yeah. decision on Sunday, the Frederick Douglass lineman. Yeah, that's exciting news. And I don't know, something inside tells me he's going to be a wildcat, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think this is awesome that we're seeing them start to really branch out, though, and get into some other states. And, um, you know, we'll see where this class goes and where the ones beyond go. Jagger's announcing at Chaos Bar and Grill. So if it's not Kentucky, that's the ultimate troll uh, destination. So I love <laughs> right? it. <laughs> All right, the wrap up is next as Hey Kentucky continues.